Jose about to lap around the whole thing. Why who on my hat, man? Let them know I'm about to act, man. I'm the ish like shit stains. Heard I got them pissed up. I give a fuck if they pissed up. It's double A over everything. Put that on my. What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, the Akin Astronaut, aka the Galactic Goon, aka John Blem, aka the Neptunian Neanderthal, etc. And today I got some more Seattle Supersonics. My GM, if you guys are lost on what has happened, because a lot has happened, went to the NBA Finals. Jonas Valanciunas and Kyle O'Quinn got hurt, ended up getting swept in the finals. Um. Went all the way through the offseason, got relocated to Seattle, picked up two top three draft picks, and picked up Freddie Staples and Jackson Baldwin, two of the biggest prospects. They're supposed to be the next LeBron, the next Carmelo, the next D-Wade, etc. And now our team looks absolutely stacked. We played our first game of the season last episode. Um, I actually just uploaded the episode where we relocate to Seattle. And I actually looked on YouTube to see if um, if anybody else has had this outcome. And I haven't really seen too many Seattle Supersonics, my GMs. So um, hopefully this series gets some love because I'm having a lot of fun with this series. I love the Seattle Supersonics. Glad we could bring them back. And I'm really happy with our team right now. So if you guys enjoy these videos, man, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. If you are not subscribed, hit that bell so you can get notified. Whenever I upload, join the Galactic Goons, the Galactic Gang, the Akron Astronauts. And uh, yeah, man, be here before I blast off because this channel is going to blow up, man. Um, as you can see, we beat the Boston Celtics last episode by 8 points. We were up by 30 at one point. Jackson Baldwin, the rookie, dropping 31, 4, 5, 2, and 2. Freddie Staples coming up second, 23. Only one assist. He needs to work on that, especially since he's going to be running the point guard spot. But, um, yeah, man, we're going to simulate some games and get into a game in this episode. Let me see. Let me see something real quick, though. I'm trying to think of if I had to trade somebody, who would it be? And I'm thinking... We honestly don't need Quincy Pondexter. I mean, let me see. No offers. Nobody would get that. Get that. If you guys hear cars driving by, I'm I'm sincerely sorry, but um, it's like what time is it? It's like two o'clock. I honestly just woke up. I got off work at like one o'clock in the morning. Made some coffee. Woke up pretty late, but um, Sean Kilpatrick, Aaron Aflalo. Recently signed. He's recently signed as well. Never mind. Never mind. It looks like Terrence Ross. 25 offers. I don't feel like looking through all of those. Um, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Since I did the trade finder, they're going to, yeah. Um, simply business. Plus 21 trust. Minus trust from Bob Sanderson. Fuck Bob Sanderson. Um... So we're going to simulate. Let me see. I wonder what moves were made in the offseason when it comes to free agents. So uh, let me just go to the team. They got Andre Iguodala, Mike Conley, Patrick Patterson, Brooke Lopez, Jimmy Butler, Nerlens Noel coming off the bench, Clay Thompson, Markel Fultz, James Johnson, Enos Cantor, eh, Lonzo Ball, Carmelo, Dario Saric, Carl Anthony Towns, Rudy Gay. Woo-wee. Okay. The Cavaliers making some serious moves. I don't know if this is was their team already, but um, this is a pretty nice team. Lonzo Ball, Carmelo, Dario, and Carl Anthony Towns. I think we might end up facing my hometown Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, so, yeah, I want to play more games this season because um, I'm more content with the state of the team. We moved to Seattle, which is what I wanted. I kind of wanted to get season one out the way after I saw the relocation rumors because I wanted to see if we were actually moving to Seattle or not. And I'm really happy with the current rotation um, and what our team looks like. So increases injury healing. Um, we'll just do the increase injury healing. I'm not really too worried about the morale. Look at us winning games. We're on a three-game win streak. Win our first four. Can we win five? I couldn't see if we won. The press conference came up too quick. If we won our first five coming out, 
Your team's what? Yep, we did. Your team's winning streak now sits at five. Do you think it'll last? Yes, I do. Yeah, it'll last not just one more game, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven. Might end after that, though. That's nice. Get the player morale up. Uh, owner trust goes down a little bit, but we don't really care too much. <clears throat> Excuse me, so as you can see, the Cleveland Cavaliers are sitting at second overall, fifth defensively, first offensively with that team. Um, looks like Carl, I mean, looks like Carmelo Anthony isn't in the starting lineup for some reason now. Maybe they got him coming off the bench, um, but we're sixth overall, third defensively, tenth offensively. We got Freddie Staples, Josh Hart, Jackson Baldwin, Larry Nance, and uh, Zubak. And we don't even have Jonas Valanciunas in yet. We don't even have Jonas Valanciunas in the game yet. Wow. That's absolutely, like, he's still injured. Once he comes back, it's going to be a problem for all these people. But let's get into this game, man. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Going to try and mix up Carmelo Anthony. We all know he doesn't play that good a defense. Jackson Baldwin should have a field day. All right, guys, here we go. The tip-off is about to be underway. Going up against the Cleveland Cavaliers, trying to go on a six-game win streak. We're out here balling. Let's see if we can win the tip-off. Zubak loses the tip-off to Carl Anthony Towns. Evan Fournier is running the point. Let's get it. Carmelo Anthony's coming off the bench. I can't believe that. I don't know why they would do that. I guess a little extra firepower. And Carl Anthony Towns just totally takes us first play. He's kind of slacking, though. Let's see if we can... Okay, Zubak. You got to step out on my man, Freddie. Got to step out on my man, Freddie Stables. Answers right back with a three. Let's go. Let's get the screen going with Dennis Shooter. He's lightning fast. He's lightning fast. Kick it. Kick it. Terrence Ross is open in the corner. Terrence Ross open in the corner, knocking it down. T. Ross, the boss. Don't let the ball get in. We're here. Should have been a steal. Good defense. We get the steal anyway. Terrence Ross is out. He's the fastest player on the court probably. Let's go. Slamming it down. We're within one point. Pretty good first quarter. We're having a pretty good first quarter. We need to play better defense. And we need to rebound more. Carl Anthony Towns is absolutely killing us on the on the glass. Getting a lot of second chance points. In all honesty. Dennis Schroeder clamping him up. Clamping him up. Man, can you not drive past my house with a fucking loud ass motorcycle? That would be absolutely fantastic. Hit Freddy. Let Freddy. Are you really not playing defense on my man? We'll shoot it. We'll shoot it. Freddy Staples got the burner. Lonzo Ball still hasn't done anything this entire game. He's getting locked up by our guards. Rudy Gay has the ball. Gallinari playing absolutely incredible defense. Incredible defense by Gallinari. He's too strong for him. Dennis Schroeder gets a handout, and Lonzo Ball misses. Still has no points. Step back. The crowd's starting to get hyped. They know we got th some momentum. Step back again. Freddie Staples for three. Bang! Freddie Staples for three. Bang! We're up four. Let's go. Freddie Staples is an absolute beast. Hitting the step back. Hitting the step back. The quick move. And popping the three, nothing but net. This man is deadly. Really has the burner. He has the burner. Oh, good defense. Look at Freddie Staples hitting the three and then playing good defense. Step back again. Perfect. Green beam. Freddie Staples. Oh, my goodness. Hits a three. Comes back down on defense. Gets a steal. Hits a move. Snatch back. And hits another three. Green beam. Good defense, Kyle O'Quinn. Great defense. Okay, he's still going to get it to go. He's still going to get it to go. Give this ball to Freddie Staples, man. This dude is absolutely going off. This dude is... Yo, ISO. What are y'all doing? ISO. Let, it, let him handle the rock. Let him handle the rock. Blow him by him. Going up. Okay, he's getting absolutely sent by Carl Anthony Towns. Carl Anthony Towns isn't having it. He's not having it. And then Lonzo Ball's in the corner wide open for three. Getting his first buckets of the game. Not too worried about him, but we have Jackson Baldwin in as well now. So I'm kind of I'm kind of completely content. Um, we didn't have Jackson Baldwin in for most of the second quarter. Oh, all the way. All the way. Jackson Baldwin all the way. All the way. I don't know why we didn't have him in for most of the second quarter. It would have been some well-needed defense and some well-needed offensive 
offensive weaponry, you know, some more options on offense. But uh, but I'm totally fine with it. Let him get his rest. Step out on TJ McConnell, Freddie Staples, okay, Lonzo Ball with the ball, getting clamped up by Josh Hart, the G League God. Lonzo Ball getting clamped up by Josh Hart, the G League God. The G League God, man. This should be Jackson Baldwin all the way if he can. Okay. Should have been Jackson Baldwin all the way. Slamming on Carl Anthony Towns. Jackson Baldwin. My goodness. I'm so glad. I miss Giannis. I just noticed that I was saying I was saying Giannis literally the whole entire time we had him. But it's pronounced Giannis. I knew this, but I don't. Look at the steal by Freddie Staples while I'm talking. I'm not even paying attention. Freddie Staples all the way. Look at the sexy finger roll. If I got to do a finger roll, I'm going to make it look sexy. But I totally apologize for calling Giannis or Giannis Giannis. Um, I, knew it was, I knew it was Giannis. I don't know why I was saying Giannis. Um, I guess I was just, you know, sounding the word out in my head. Because if you, if you sound it out, it sounds like Giannis. But uh, since he is Greek, it is Giannis. G-I makes a ye sound. But uh, Staples... Step back. Ooh, giving me space, huh? Giving me space. Giving me space. Blow by. Blow by. Get it to go. Oh, my goodness. At the end of the first half, Freddie Staples beats his man to the basket but can't get the layup to go. But we're going to go into halftime, into the locker room, up eight points. Our team looks really strong offensively. Defensively, could do a little bit better. Um, rebounding could do a lot better. Absolutely getting killed on the second chance bo uh, second chance points. Oh, that's great defense. on. Oh, I thought he still made it. I thought he still made it. Jackson Baldwin with the rebound. He's pushing the break. Oh, my God. Look at the crossover. Larry Nance, can you hit the midi, please? Larry Nance hitting a mid-range jump shot. I think that's the first one I've seen from him this whole entire MyGM series. But that crossover from Jackson Baldwin was nasty. Totally left. Totally left my man Rudy Gay in the dust. And then he kicks it to Larry Nance for a mid-range jump shot, which I cannot believe he made. Great defense on Carl Anthony Towns. He's getting his own board. Getting his own board. That's that's most of their points right there, man. It's most of their points right there. He's fast. He's fast. Blowing by him on the dribble. Get it to go. Come on, Dennis. You got to do better than that. You got to do better than that. Are we gonna are we gonna step up? That's great defense. We're letting TJ McConnell, this little this little puss, get offensive boards and an and one on the second chance. What is this? We got Kyle O'Quinn, we got Gallinari, and no one can get a rebound. I even changed that point of emphasis to crash the glass because we're getting killed. Absolutely killed on second chance points. And we still just can't get boards, even against small point guards. This is absolutely pathetic. We need Jonas, man. We need Jonas, or we just need to, to kick these kids in shape, because this is sad. Dennis Shooter should have kicked it out to Josh Hart. That's a steal. That's a steal. Let's go. Give it to Josh. Josh Hart, the G League God, going up. I, I, I could have sworn Josh Hart could dunk, but I guess he's going to keep it classy because we are down. And he's not going to dunk. He's just going to do an easy finger roll. Let's go. Down two points. Jackson Baldwin playing good defense on Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo Anthony is known to take bad shots. That's great defense by... And then look. Look at that. What did I tell you? Getting absolutely killed on the glass. Second chance points are absolutely killing us. Hell no. What is Lonzo Ball thinking? He needs to stop trying to do that. Freddie Staples, come on. Hit it for me. Wide open. This game is cheating me, dude. Absolutely cheating me. And then he makes that, bro. Lonzo Ball for three. He's missing. This man, Carl Anthony Towns, is eating us on the glass, man. Eating us on the glass. We're not going to win this game. We don't have enough time. We can do this. Just need to play some good defense on this man, Carl Anthony Towns. Let's go. He's missing. Kick it up to Jackson. Jackson Baldwin, step back. Fuck it. Shoot it. 
open. Let's go, baby. Jackson ball win clutch. We're within three. One minute. That's a lot of time. That's a lot of time. We get one stop right here, and it's and it's very possible. Come on. Good good defense. Great defense. Let's go. Kick it up to Jackson. Jackson, just go all the way. Dunk on him. Come on. Let's go, Jackson Baldwin finishing. We're within one point. One more defensive stop. One more defensive stop. This is a great end of the game. Great end of the game performance. Team defense on 100. Don't let this man get the ball. Great D. He's missing again. But, but we let him get the offensive rebound. Like I said, getting killed on second chance. Getting Look at that. We got a steal. Kick it up to Zubak. Zubak to Baldwin. Oh, man, we got last shot. We got last shot, boys. And you know I'm giving it to Jackson Baldwin. Let's see if Jackson Baldwin can become a hero. Let's see. Yo, what are you doing? I want an ISO. Beat him baseline. Beat him. Oh, my God. Denied. Oh, my God. Jackson Baldwin beat him baseline, went up for the poster on Carl Anthony Towns. Carl Anthony Towns gets a block. Oh my god. Miss one. Oh man. I cannot believe it, bro. I thought we had the game wrapped up. I thought we had the game wrapped up. Jackson Baldwin went up for the dunk, and I was like, let's go. Easy bucket. He's yamming all over Carl Anthony Towns, but Carl Anthony Towns just plays too good a defense, man. Oh, and he misses the wide open. That was it said lightly contested again. What a game, man. Ending our five game win streak. F the mo if you guys can hear that, dude, I'm so sick of people riding around their goddamn Harleys, bro. It's it's literally the end of October. Like it's getting cold outside. Get the f off your motorcycle. Riding past my house, going like a hundred miles an hour, loud as shit. I'm irritated because we just lost. I cannot believe that, man. What a great game, great comeback at the end. This would be a totally different game with Jonas Valanciunas. Totally different game with Jonas Valanciunas. When they they got so many second chance points, it was absolutely crazy. But I can't believe Jackson Baldwin didn't finish. Didn't finish the. The goddamn dunk, bro. Oh, my God. Damn, man. Jackson Baldwin choking on the dunk, getting blocked. <sighs> so let's look at the box score. Carl Anthony Towns, 29 points, 17 rebounds. 17 rebounds. Literally. That is wild. And as you can see on our team, we got absolutely destroyed. Jackson Ball went at 25. Freddie Staples had 24. And no one on our team had more than five, well, had more than three rebounds for real. Zubak had zero points, five rebounds. But everybody else absolutely killed on the rebounds. Absolutely destroyed on the rebounds. We got killed. Holy cow, we got killed. We both shot 55% from the field. Three-pointers, we shot 38%. Free throws, 100%. Fast break points, even. This was a very, very even game. But second chance points, like I said, killed us. 12 second chance points from them. Um, offensive rebounds, they had nine. This just not acceptable. Not acceptable. The only reason we were in the game, because our defense, we had 11 steals. Um... They had 14 turnovers, so that's the only reason we were in the game. In all honesty, we need to we need to rebound better. We need to re rebound way better, um, which is kind of making me want to make a trade for somebody who's better at rebounding. Man, like Carlo Quinn's an A plus rebounder. Doesn't seem like it. Dude was getting absolutely killed all game. Zubak, what's your rebounding? An A minus. I don't know, man. You guys are getting absolutely torched all all game. Um, 
I'm just looking. Looking. I'm just looking around. Probably not going to do anything, you know. Scalabissier uh, would not be a bad option, though. But um, doesn't really have any badges or anything, you know. 77 overall. How tall is he? 6'11". How tall is Zubak? 7'1". Eh. Trevor Rees, Andre. Roberson, Boris Dio, DJ Augustine. Yeah, I'm not seeing too much. Hopefully it doesn't do that stupid cutscene press conference where it's like, oh, you guys are looking to make some trades, huh? That's so annoying. But yeah, man. That's going to do it for this episode, man. I'm really, really disappointed that we lost, especially coming back from that deficit in the last, what, minute and 20 seconds of the game. Jackson Baldwin needs to get that dunk to go home. Maybe I should have went up for a... Um, Maybe I should have went up for a, a a leaning shot. You know what I mean? I should have went up for the pull-up dribble. What is, Jackson Baldwin does have gold difficult shots, doesn't he? Mid-range scoring is an A-. minus. His off-dribble shot mid-range is an 84. And he has gold difficult shots. Yeah. You know, maybe I should have went up for the Kobe dribble pull-up and won the game. But I mean... A dunk is a dunk, man. He should have he should have got that, in my opinion. Uh, but Carl Anthony Towns getting the block, and we just barely end up losing because of that. He also had a wide open three point shot, uh, pretty wide open at the end of the game to tie it up, forced overtime, but he ended up missing. But as always, man, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hopefully, we can get him next time. This has been your boy, the Akron Astronaut. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, all that jazz, and uh, stay fly. Peace. Akron out here acting crazy, chop you down when you standing This the land of the fiends and the home of the king Take a look at LeBron, you can tell when I sweet Went from only smoking weed to Brody tweaking up